During Into the Spider-Verse, we didn't see too much of Miles' most iconic power, the Venom Blast, with it only making a very short appearance when Miles meets Peter, and again at the very end of the movie when Miles defeats Kingpin. However, in Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse, this tool in Miles' kit is crucial during a few different points in the film. First off, when the spot is trying to absorb the energy from the Alchemex Collider and a large energy shield stands in the way of the heroes, no one knows what to do. As Miles puts both of his hands on the shield and begins to absorb all of the electricity that creates it so he can clear the way in send it back to the spot and hopefully end this. The second time is when Miles gets trapped by Miguel after refusing to just let his dad die, as Miles gets instructed by Hobie to use his electricity to break free and get away. As Miles places his hand on Miguel's suit, making it go completely haywire, as he either absorbs the energy from it or completely disrupts it with his own, allowing him to escape from Spider-Man 2099. After what happens in the end of the movie and the tech-themed villain for the third movie, it's likely that we'll be seeing this power again, and hopefully they give Miles his Venom Blast sword.